I wanted to discuss with patients regarding uh, what to expect after a catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation. Um, after going home, one of the important things in the first few days after a catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation is the groin care. These large size IV lines that were obtained in the groin area from femoral vein that were removed, they need a care and usually for a few days, a patient should avoid heavy pressure on this groin area. The upper body weight goes on these veins and it can make the bleeding happen from those sites of the IV line. For how long, that a little bit depends on the technique that the doctor uses to close those veins. Sometimes just simple manual pressure is used and that may need up to about a week being careful about it. Sometimes uh, some closure devices is used. I uh, These days I use a device closure called, called Perclose. That is a technique in that I can put a suture over the vein from outside. With that, the, the, the vein care, the groin care after procedure is limited usually to the first three, four days. In regarding to atrial fibrillation, there's this concept of blanking period, which means um, the, the ablation lesions can grow in the first two to three months. And the maximum effect of ablation is really confirmed after the first three months. And because of that, a little bit of an AFib happening in the first two to three months after ablation usually will go away. If a lot of AFib happening, if the AFib is very symptomatic or if the AFib is persistent, meaning it's coming and it's not going away, that needs attention. But a little bit AFib happening that is not very symptomatic and is not very frequent, just wait and watch in the first three months. Usually antiarrhythmics are continued in this first three months if they had uh, been given before the procedure for the same reason. And sometimes if there are uh, too much AFib is still happening, sometimes some antiarrhythmic may be started for this three months. Anticoagulation or blood thinner, if they have been used for prevention of a stroke in the patient, they should continue. And sometimes, depending on the patient risk of a stroke and the technique that is used for ablation, uh, the electrophysiologist may decide to start the patient on anticoagulation for the first three to four weeks after ablation, even if they were not taking anticoagulation before. This was a summary of what the patient can expect after catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation.